this is kind of embarrassing, you will be amazed at how much that can change your state. Generally, an approach that I like to have to nutrition, but also to life. For the love of all things good, it'll blow your mind. Hi y'all, welcome. I am Molly Mason, I am a holistic nutritionist, and I am truly here to help you stop fighting the war with your body and show up for your brightest life. Today, I'm gonna be sharing 50 ways to improve your life, some big and some small, that helped me go from days of anxiety and depression and just carrying shame in my days, feeling like I was being held back from showing up well in my life, to clarity and joy and vibrancy, and truly waking up each day feeling on purpose and on fire for my life. I know some of these things you've heard me share before, but I also know many of them you have not. My whole hope in sharing 50 different things is just to give you a ton of options. Maybe this is a video that you can come back to, implement a few things at a time. Let this be a resource for you to just continually upgrade your life in small ways. I really hope this helps you step further into a life of purpose and to show up brighter in your days. Let's go. Number one, this might surprise you that this is my first one on the list. Zero, your inbox. I cannot tell you how much this practice has changed my life. If you're one of those people that has like thousands of emails in your inbox, it's going to take you probably hours to go through, clean it all up, but just trust me, zero your inbox. Number two, this is truly one of my favorites, close the kitchen at night. Every night, regardless of what dinner looked like, what the day looked like, every night before my bedtime routine, I clean down the kitchen, I wipe the counters, I put everything away, I turn the dishwasher on, I clean the kitchen, and then empty the dishwasher every morning. If you run the dishwasher every night, you can empty it every morning it helps so much in staying on top of the dishes. They never pile up in the sink because you can always just throw them in the dishwasher. Number four, get daily sunshine. I do talk about this one all the time because sunshine is healing extra bonus points if you get it first thing in the morning. Truly, even just five, 10 minutes outside, no sunglasses, try to expose your skin if you can. You get extra sunlight through your thighs and your belly. So of course, like being outside in some shorts and a sports bra, that will help even more, but even just getting it in your eyes in the morning, even if it's winter outside and I'm fully clothed when I'm outside right now, trust me on that. Drink water with a straw. I got to a point where I realized I don't drink water if I don't have a straw. Stanley cup, not necessary, but definitely helpful. But along with that, we got two more on the water front. I know everyone tells you to drink more water, but these are hopefully really practical things to do. Drink with a straw, filter your water. This is so important. I'm not gonna go into it, filter your water. And also remineralize your water. Chugging one to two gallons of water a day is not as healthy as you think. In fact, if you are just chugging plain water, you are dehydrating your body. You need to support your body with the minerals while you hydrate it with the water. You can add trace mineral drops to your water. You can use electrolyte powders. You can even just use a tiny pinch of real sea salt. Number eight, turn on music when you cook. This is one of my favorites. Turn on some tunes. I'm a huge fan of the Nancy Myers kitchen playlist. If you struggle to nourish your body, food and the ability to cook our food and nourish our bodies is such a joy. Make it as joyous of an experience as you can. Number nine, live in community. Our culture more and more and more leads towards isolation. Don't fall for that trap. Surround yourself with people, live in community. Number 10, eat breakfast. For the love of all things good, eat breakfast. And with that, stop working out fasted. Just don't do it, don't do it, don't do it to your hormones. Nourish your body before your workout. Eat more fruit. There's this sad, sad, sad time in my life where I was afraid of fruit. Eat more fruit. Number 13, use salt lamps before bed. One of my favorite things in the whole entire world, truly. If you've seen any of my videos, you know this. I love my salt lamp. I love my bedside salt lamp, and I love my bathroom plug-in nightlight salt lamp. Both are game changers. Turn off your fluorescent lights and use red light therapy before bed. It will change your sleep. Number 14, bring your broken pieces to the light. Shame grows in the darkness. Freedom is found in the light. Confess, get it out there, share it. So much freedom and healing is waiting for you. Find movement you enjoy. Stop Stop doing workouts you hate. Stop torturing your body into doing things that don't actually feel good. Find movement that feels good in your body that you look forward to. But with that, number 16, get your blood moving in the morning. Figure out what works for you. You might be an afternoon, evening movement person. I am a huge fan of doing my workouts in the morning. I do not function well if I don't truly get a sweat in in the morning. But even if it is literally like 20 jumping jacks or 10 squats before you sit down at your desk, whatever it is, move 
move your body, get your blood moving, get your heart pumping, you will be amazed at how much that can change your state. Drop the all or nothing approach. This is truly one of the biggest sabotagers to health and wellness that I see across the board, especially in women. When we think it's a black or white mentality, when we think it's all or nothing, when we think we have to be perfect or we don't do it at all, we completely hold ourselves back from the beauty that happens when we drop the perfectionism and we just choose to focus on small positive changes, progress over perfection, stop thinking it's all or nothing. Number 18, eat at the table. I'm not perfect at this. There are definitely nights when we eat on this couch right there, but seriously, get present with your food, turn off distractions, sit down. Bonus points if you can do it with people that you love, even if you're by yourself. Put the distractions away, sit down, be present with your food. And number 19, chew more. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Chew your food more. You're supposed to chew 20 to 30 times per bite. You can guarantee you are not doing that. I am also not doing that, but just the process of chewing your food like four extra times before you swallow will make a huge impact on your digestion. Number 20, go to bed earlier. I know everyone says it, go to bed earlier, wake up earlier, but seriously, research proves that one hour of sleep before midnight counts as two hours of sleep after midnight. So even if you sleep eight hours, if you shift it, even just one hour, go to bed one hour earlier and wake up one hour earlier, you're getting higher quality restorative rest, a whole hour's worth of higher quality restorative rest. Go to bed earlier. One way to do that is to read before bed. You know at this point my obsession with my Kindle, with my salt lamp, with my nighttime routine, but seriously, swap out the Netflix, find a good novel you enjoy, get in bed, read, it will put you to sleep like magic. Number 22, meditate on truth. The Eastern approach to meditation is the emptying of our minds, but I like to focus on the filling of my mind with truth. Whatever is pure, whatever is noble, focus on these things. I try to fill my mind with truth, with scripture, with goodness, and crowd out the negative thoughts, the bad thoughts, the things that aren't helpful, that aren't beneficial for my thinking. Number 23, this is one of my favorite tiny little hacks. If you use Google Chrome, there's an extension called News Feed Eradicator. When you open up Facebook or Instagram, you will not see your news feed. I do have to use Facebook and Instagram for work frequently on my computer, but I do not want to be sucked into the mindless scroll. It's a game changer, I'm telling you. Number 24, focus on your gut health. I truly cannot say enough how important your gut health is. It is connected to your mental health, your emotional health, your immune health. Your gut is so incredibly important. And if you don't know where to start, check out my free gut health masterclass. This is one of my favorites. Put your phone to bed. Literally have a bed for your phone, tuck it in and say good night. Okay, this is a fun one, number 26, document your joy. This is something I started doing more intentionally this year and I can't tell you how happy it has made me. I was just making an effort to like take pictures of little everyday things that made me happy, to document the things that we were doing, take little pictures or videos, and then at the end of each month when I kind of do my monthly review business goals setting, I would pull all those pictures together and I just have this documentation of things that brought me joy in that season. I know that we all have these things in our hands and I think what happened for me is when I first started sharing my life on the internet, I felt like it was taking over being present in those moments. So I truly stopped documenting my life. Like I have years of our marriage that I hardly have photos of like what we did or things that we enjoyed. And so just kind of getting back to like, how can I document my life and my joy without it feeling like it's getting in the way of being present in those moments, but even just those tiny little snaps and then putting them together at the end of the month, it's just the best. Number 27. Breathe. I know you're doing it because you wouldn't be alive if you weren't. It is something that your body will do without thinking about, but I want you to think about breathing and do it intentionally. This is what's so cool about our bodies. We don't have to think about breathing and our bodies will breathe. It's an involuntary process that will happen, but we do have the ability to override that with a voluntary process. So we have the ability to control our breath. And I know it sounds so dumb because when you're stressed, you're like, don't tell me to breathe, but I am not kidding. Big deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, hold it, and then breathe out through your mouth.
oxygenates every cell in your body. It slows down your central nervous system. It tells your body it is safe. You will be amazed at how one deep breath can completely change your state. Number 28, schedule walking dates. Anytime I wanna catch up with a friend, I'm like, hey, let's go for a walk. I also do this with friends that I don't get to see often that live in other states. I will literally text them and be like, hey, let's schedule a walking date and we'll pick a date and time just like we were gonna do if we were gonna go to coffee. And I will go on a walk and call them. It is such a sweet way to move your body, catch up with friends, have that connection, just get a double whammy in there. Number 29, be a life speaker. This is one of my biggest goals in life. I want to be a person that speaks life. Like the Proverbs say, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Words are so powerful. Words have the ability to bring life to relationships and to people or to bring death and sadness and hardness and brokenness. Let your words bring life. Speak life over yourself and over other people. And with that number 30, give compliments. This is kind of embarrassing, but I have a memory. In seventh grade, I challenged myself to give three compliments a day. It's kind of something that I haven't thought about like that since then, but I've tried to make an effort to do in my life. I really do try to make sure that these aren't appearance-based. When I compliment people, I try to focus on attributes of their being, but especially with strangers, just like give compliments. Tell the cashier at the grocery store that she has a beautiful smile. Last night at Costco, the woman who was like checking my receipt, she was wearing this beautiful colored sweater that just made her eyes pop. And I told her that color looks so beautiful on you. And she literally like lit up, her whole face lit up. I know that I completely made her day. It is crazy what a tiny compliment can do. Speak that life over people. Number 31, stop drinking coffee on an empty stomach. Seriously, if coffee is the first thing you reach for in the morning, stop. Number 32, dance like a fool in the mornings. Okay, this is kind of silly, but during quarantine, like in the beginning, in the heat of we can't leave our house and the world is on fire, I started playing Good Day by Nappy Roots in the mornings to wake Cashmere up. He is not a morning person. I am a major morning person. And he's very grumpy in the mornings. And I was also struggling in that season to feel joy. And I literally played that song and I would bring him his coffee and dance like an idiot for him while he's like laying in bed trying to wake up. It just kind of became a thing. We're almost three years in and it's still a thing. Pick a song that makes you happy and dance like a fool. Number 33, don't eat naked carbs. We don't need no naked carbs. Put some clothes on those carbs. If you don't know what that means, you need to watch more of my videos. And with that, 34, eat more protein. Unless you are like downing a bunch of protein shakes and like bro sciencing it up, I can almost guarantee you need more protein. Number 35 is one of my favorites. Focus more on what you can add versus what you need to remove. This is just generally like an approach that I like to have to nutrition, but also to life, like food. Instead of obsessing over what food you shouldn't eat, focus on what you wanna add into your diet. But I try to do this with thoughts, with relationships, with everything in my life. Like focus on adding in the good. Listen to your body's signals. Your body is telling you everything you need to know. Diet culture has taught you to disconnect from your body and not listen to what it has to say. But I am telling you one of the best things that you could do for your health is learn to tune in to your body's cues, honor what it's telling you it needs. You will be shook when you start listening to your body and living in a place where you respect it, you show it that you can trust it, it'll blow your mind. Number 37, do those five minute tidies. Just taking a few minutes to clean up your space, to make sure things are in their place, to tidy things up, it keeps it from getting too overwhelming. Number 38, hug more. Oh my gosh, I am not exaggerating when I say I truly wish I could reach through the screen and hug each and every one of you. I am a hugger, I love hugs, but trust me, that serotonin and oxytocin does your brain some good. Hug your people. Number 39, eat more whole foods. I know you know, but just do it. Have accountability partners. We talk about this a lot when it comes to like fitness and having a workout buddy, but have accountability partners for your life. Have people who check in on you. Have people who hold you accountable to the standards that you have for yourself, who call you out on your junk. Invite friends in that can be those people for you. 41, support your stress response with an adrenal cocktail. I have an entire video on this, so I will leave it at that. Check it out if you don't know what it is. It might change your life. Wear clothes that fit you. I've shared how important this was in my healing journey, but seriously, stop stressing over the clothes that don't fit. Put things on your
your body that make you feel good in the skin you're in. Number 43, put your bare feet on the ground. Seriously, take your shoes off, walk outside. If you got some sand, do it, but walk through the grass, walk on the ground. The earth has negative ions that calm our central nervous system. Number 44, seek adventure. Even if you are not jet setting to the other side of the world, how can you find an attitude of adventure in your everyday life? Number 45, have a spirit of wonder. My life is measurably better when I choose to look for the little miracles in my everyday. Number 46, magnesium. That's it, magnesium. It truly is a miracle mineral. Unfortunately, we are almost all deficient in it. It is so important for blood sugar regulation, for stress response, for our nervous system support. My personal favorite way to supplement with magnesium is to take magnesium baths, but I will go ahead and link a couple of my favorite ways to add it to your daily routine in the description box. 47, be a cheerleader. Seriously, I was not a cheerleader in high school, but I try to be a cheerleader in my everyday life. Celebrate other people's wins, cheer them on towards their goals. A rising tide lifts all boats. There is room for all of us to shine. Keep the promises you make to yourself. Prove to yourself that you are worthy of the promises you make. Show yourself that you are a person of integrity, that you follow through on your work. 49, focus on your best yes. Remember, there is a time for everything. You can do everything, but you can't do it all at once. Clearly define your priorities and reevaluate that list in every season. And finally, number 50, after sharing 49 different things that you can work on to improve your life, number 50 is always come back to the basics. When you get overwhelmed with trying to care for your body or trying to chase your goals or just trying to live a better life, when you get bogged down, just come back to the fundamentals. There you go. I honestly could probably share like a million and 50 things. So those are just the first 50 that came to me, things that truly have made an impact in my life that have helped me show up brighter in my life. I hope they help you do the same. If this was encouraging to you, please give this a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want more of this kind of encouragement. And I mean it when I say, I wanna challenge you. Go through this list, pick the one or two that stood out to you the most, really try to implement those in the next week or two, and then come back and choose a couple more. I'd love to hear down in the comments which ones stood out to you the most, or if you are committing to working on any of these things, let us know which ones so we can cheer you on, because that's what I'm doing. I am always here cheering you on. I will see you guys in the next one.